Hello, everyone, and welcome back for another dynamic speaker interview tonight, today, or in the morning, whatever you get to listen in to this uh, talk that we're going to have, this little chat with Delonda Adams, of uh, the founder and leader of Girl Rest. And many of you all may know her. Um, I am her biggest fan, cheerleader. You know what they call that fan girl? Uh, that's me. I'm fan girl. You know, um, because Delanda is just extraordinary, and the ministry that God has put in her heart, the message, the clarity, the the consistency of her message is just it, you know it's God given. And so, welcome, Delanda. Thank you so much for joining mm -hmm. us uh, again for Plan, Pray, Pursue Virtual Women's Conference. Um, this is, I believe, is this your third year or second year? It might be your third. third. I think it's the third. third. Y'all, uh -huh. Del it's the third <laughs> year. Uh, Delanda's a staple of on the team because she just brings such powerful messages. Um, Delanda, tell us a little bit about yourself and share mm -hmm. something uh, that you love that no one else gets. They don't. They don't understand why you love it. Tell, <laughs> tell us a little bit about you. Well, first, I am a Southern girl at heart, born and raised in Alabama. And I've been married for been married for twenty years. I have uh, two teenagers, a boy and a girl, and a um, a very uh, uh, human dog, <laughs> human <laughs> mini schnauzer who thinks he's a human. And uh, I am the leader, like Emily said, of Girl Rest, where we're leading women to rest. And one of the things that I uh, I know that I know my husband don't get, and maybe a lot of people don't get, it, is my love. I've always wanted a pet lion or tiger. <laughs> and I got a lion in the back of me. So I, <laughs> I, I just I just want one. I think that I could train one if I had the chance, but I want them at, I want them at a little bit of baby age so they won't, you know, already have some bad manners to try to eat me. But if I had it as a little, little baby... <laughs> I could train it and just the old is just beautiful to me. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. That is so funny. A little baby. You need it as a baby. Absolutely. <laughs> I am I, that is that tickles me so right all the things people we doing all these things people like oh they're they're such great speakers and all this stuff but they just really knew <laughs> they really right. just knew it. <laughs> right yeah, I'm over here you know, tell, baby tiger. <laughs> oh, baby tiger. if you would tell us about um girl rest you know tell us a little bit more about it the vision and the mission behind it and um and it, you know, just start there because I, I have another question about it. But go ahead and tell us about that vision and the mission. Okay. Well, um, it's you know, the purpose of Girl Rest. We're here to truly lead women to a place of rest for their souls. And it's through Jesus. That's, yes. that's how we do this. Uh, I know that there's a lot of uh, self self-care talk out there and we all for self-care but i believe that the best self-care is soul care mm -hmm. and so that's what we're about we do it through uh our community and uh, retreats and rest stops we have uh a whole lot of things resources uh that you can plug into so that you can just be encouraged to uh, to come to Jesus for rest so that he can give you that rest and find rest. And the the ultimate vision for Girl Rest is the resting place. And okay. so that is a physical space of encouragement, support, and rest so that uh, people can come and uh, host, host their retreats, um, mm -hmm. have some 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 time and moments of rest for themselves you know if you just want to get away just just have a spot where you can just come and have a little peace and quiet you know you don't yeah, have yeah. to uh 
if, if you don't you don't have to go down the street and park in the parking lot or whatnot to have it. Right. <laughs> we'll have a place like that. So I'm excited about it. And uh, Lord, Lord willing, we're going to be seeing that soon in the next uh, couple of years, next year. Yeah. Or so uh, we'll update you. You can subscribe. Ooh, I'm excited. Updates on that. So mm -hmm. I'm excited about all that, but basically that's really what we are about is leading women to rest because we need that every yeah. day. And so it's something that we need to be reminded of because yeah. it's one of the things that we forget to do and we struggle with it yes. every day. Yeah, that's so good. You know, you mentioned that you have you know, there's a lot, you know, and I'm mm -hmm. thinking just of just being connected to your ministry and, and utilizing a lot of the resources that you provide services and things. If, if you would just what would be your most popular or your top product or service? Um, and when I say service, it, it ministry, you know, the mm -hmm. ministry effort um, that you would provide, what, which one would you say for someone coming in uh, to your your ministry, what will be that product or service you would recommend? The first very the first thing. <laughs> the first thing, I'm just gonna say it, it's gonna be the retreats. <laughs> ah. <laughs> the the retreats are truly where you can pull away. And I'll say this, uh, you don't necessarily have to come to a retreat for rest, but yeah. it is the perfect avenue for you oh, to just come away from your norm and learn how learn how to rest how to uh cultivate rest in your everyday yes. life learn how to uh what's holding you back and we learn so many uh different things so many. but uh, i would say that the lord does something different at each one of our retreats but it's just the, the perfect sweet spot for us to show show and lead you to rest in Jesus. So I can testify to that. I attended uh, my first rest mm -hmm. retreat uh, with you at the war retreat, Women at Rest. Um, and by the way, you all, I met, how did I find Delanda? How did I meet Delanda? I, it was a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. scrolling through Instagram, feeling overwhelmed and tired exhausted and i was just i was just tore up from the floor and um <laughs> and i just scrolled and i saw this post on instagram and it was one of delanda's posts about rest and the holy spirit just reminded me mm -hmm. that's what your that's what your problem is that's what the problem is ebony <laughs> you you <laughs> haven't rested at all and right. I'm going to tell you something. I have forgotten how to rest, Delanda. Mm. I forgot. I, literally, when the Holy Spirit spoke that to me, I said, but I don't know how anymore. I don't know. So I followed right. the post. I found you. I've got to your website. I mm -hmm. found you on Facebook. I joined your group. And I just started making myself available to your ministry, right. your ministering. So mm -hmm. reading your posts and listening to the everything that you started having to offer. And I had signed up for the California retreat. Remember, you had to cancel that because right. of COVID. Wasn't mm -hmm. I had signed up to a I was that was what I was gonna do. I was planning on getting to the and uh <laughs> but <laughs> COVID ch changed that. Mm -hmm. So I ended up my very first in-person retreat mm -hmm. with you was the war retreat. And ladies, right. I have to tell you, I that was exactly what I needed. Mm -hmm. Exactly right. what I needed. Mm -hmm. We were so well cared for from a physical and a spiritual standpoint. You're such a good caregiver. And um, and so I I would vouch for that. Get to one of these retreats. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, they, they're good, and I even try. Yeah. To, I try to structure them in a way where I'm getting some rest too. <laughs> yes, that's so, what I love. Mm -hmm. You model it for us, you know. Mm -hmm. So, uh, why would you say talking about these rest retreats? Why would you say rest is essential to fulfilling God's plan for our lives? Like, 
it's it sounds weird because the world does not say that it does not include rest mm -hmm. as a part of fulfilling and, and the plan that God has for your life. Why why is rest essential in that way? Uh, well, one of the things you said was that it's not it's not part of the world's plan. That's because we tend to model what the world is doing and that is acting like we don't have boundaries <laughs> we, oh, that's so we, good we act like we don't have boundaries and so we're just overstepping those boundaries and really to ourselves we become we become our own little mini gods and yeah. so coming to jesus for rest first shows that that we trust god <laughs> yeah greater than ourselves and what everyone else is out there shouting and it helps us to um it helps us to focus uh to refocus yeah and to really stay on the right stay on stay on the right track because we're gonna veer off we the distractions right. come mm -hmm. and we need to stay in a position of rest or keep coming to God for rest so that we can stay on track to fulfilling all that God has called us to fulfill. Because if not, we'll be doing a whole bunch of stuff. And um, we just talked about this on our, on, on the last retreat we just come off of, is that it is a, it breaks my heart to know mm -hmm. that we have probably done so many things that had nothing to do with God. Wow. But really right. it was all about self because it wasn't in a place of, it wasn't coming from love. It wasn't coming from a place of right motivation. And mm -hmm. in the end we were really working for ourselves and not working for God. Mm. I read something today that said that don't do, uh, don't be so, don't do so much ministry that you don't, that you forget God or you don't know God. Oh, that's good. And that's I was like, well, yeah, yeah, that's true. Because we can it be doing true. all the things that look like something, but it is just done in vain. So that's right. why. I believe is essential to fulfilling um, the calling that God has on our lives. I love that. I love that. And so, you know, in one of your Instagram posts here, um, I'm going to, before I answer that question, because I think this question kind of partners mm -hmm. with what we just talked about, mm -hmm. because it, in one of your Instagram posts, you said rest and focus. And so it, when, when you talk about rest being essential to fulfilling God's plan for our lives, one of the reasons I believe in what you're saying here is resting allows us also to focus. You know, it says you can't afford to miss out on what God is doing. And I, this one, that blows me away. You know, yes, this conference uh, focuses on planning, praying, mm -hmm. and pursuing God's plans for our lives. You know, however, oftentimes we can miss out, totally mm -hmm. miss out um, on how rest helps us to understand. Mm -hmm. It helps us to create. It helps us to yeah. focus mm -hmm. and even to see and hear God's leading, right? Mm -hmm. So when, right. when you say that rest and focus, what when, when how, do those, how does that look? Because people really have no idea how this rest thing works. No. They, mm -mm. Many people really have no idea. They think that if they take a rest, they're missing out, they're, they're losing stamina, they're losing momentum, whatever. But you're, you are, you have a real, God is giving you a really clear understanding of this. So what does rest and focus look like for, for someone? Um, rest and focus looks like that I'm coming because of me. Let, let's just take me for example. Because <laughs> okay. I, I am. E I can get easily distracted with the <laughs> with whatever is shiny or whatnot, or with all the thousands of ideas that pop into my head that mm. I want to implement right now. Yeah. And then I get distracted with the big picture that I see, and then I want to get to that right now. 
And so coming to God for rest, because when I when, when I come to him, then I can get quiet. I can um, I can really be honest with him about mm. how uh, discontent I am. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> about how discontent I am, how things are not moving, how I want them to move. And I'm not seeing the kind of fruit that I want to see. And in those times, as I'm as I'm reading, as I'm praying, the mm. Lord in his loving kindness can speak to those areas and assure me mm. when I be quiet that Delanda, you're you're on the right track. That's don't, good. don't worry about what nobody else is doing. Matter of fact, won't you just stay off the inter the internet for the day? <laughs> Right. Well, won't you just stay away from that? Why don't you go out? You know, go go play the games with the family. Go go watch a movie. Just just be uh, take a nap. Take a nap. <laughs> Sit yeah, down. Take a nap. <laughs> and helps you focus. Helps you because if you do not pause, we 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 hate the pause. Yeah. And, um, did a, a five minute exercise uh, with the women just taking a pause and how did that feel mm. not to say anything for five minutes and sometimes yeah. that can be hard because we don't like pauses and yeah. when there is a pause we think that we have to be the ones to run to the rescue to right. make sure that those mm. pauses are being filled in yeah that we have to step in and say say something and you know, if there's a pause, if there's a slow up, then we have to be constantly doing something or we're not doing something right. right. So coming to Jesus allows us, it really allows us to focus and we will not really experience it for ourselves if we just don't come to him. Yes. We just got to sure. go. We just, it can be, and I'm telling you, a witness, it can be as simple as you just truly finding your delight in the Lord. Yeah. And it can just be reading the word and something pops out at you and gets you back on focus. So true. The, the Lord uses that that word that morning to get you back on focus. It's him speaking as you going into a place of praise and worship mm -hmm. that allows you to be okay yes. <laughs> with where you are and focus on what God has for you in that season Love and not that. worry about what all is going on around you because everybody is doing a whole bunch of stuff and it looked like folks is doing a whole bunch of important stuff <laughs> yeah, all right. and, and we it can looks like, like a whole bunch of big stuff but we do not know yes and, and we're not just it, doing it just to be doing it. We're doing right. it to bring God glory and to put, right. bring about his plans in, in the earth, right? Yeah. So it's like he's the CEO. We got to consult with him. You know, one thing I like to remind women is that, you know, the, the one thing that is unique about our God, right? Mm -hmm. our, our relationship with our God is right. that it's not one-sided. We're not praying to some wooden figure. Right. That's not going to respond. You right. know, we have a living God. That's what makes right. him different is he's living. And mm -hmm. that in, in addition to that, he is in relate. We are in relationship with him. That's the difference now. Exactly. And so that relationship means when you pray, we, a lot of times we are delayed and a lot of things that we're doing. Um, I had a talk with, um, an interview with, uh, Sophony. And mm -hmm. uh, she was saying to get out of God's way. A lot of times we're praying and then yep. we over here doing all this stuff and we don't even give ourselves an opportunity to hear him mm -mm. because he's going to respond, right? right? He, he's going to direct you, lead you and guide you. But if you're not, if you're so mm -hmm. busy that all you're doing is just moving your mouth and you're not taking the time mm -hmm. to rest. And to focus, rest and hear, mm -hmm. rest and see. Re mm -hmm. God is want, he does respond. And so he I does. love that, right? I love that. You know, you he have another fun. post. 
He does. And he, and he not del- he not holding up. People be like, I didn't where what got I he didn't hear. Still- but we gotta we gotta stop doing the, the drive-bys. <laughs> right. Sit down we and gotta stop doing commune that. with him. Commune, right? Commune, delight is more than you know, it's gonna be more than five minutes sometimes. sometimes it's gonna be more right? than the car drive to work. We have yes. to sit and quiet ourselves and listen. I love it. I love that. Um, here's another Instagram. You have some good Instagram posts. Okay. <laughs> it says here, it is okay. Now, you know, a lot of times people have a hard time letting go of stuff because we think that <laughs> yes, we, we do. I, 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 you know, we, I had this, uh, again with Sophie, we, mm-hmm. we had a talk about vision and I asked her, you know, what I had a pastor mentor tell pastor Samuel and I, to not die on a vision. Mm. Don't, don't, don't get up there on the vision and die on it. Right. Because God, God orchestrates, he's orchestrating all of this, right? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. so, and so Sophie phrased it in a different way. She was like, you know, she believes that visions evolve, right? Mm-hmm. Like they expand, they grow. We mm-hmm. have them try to contain the vision here, but God is the vision, but God grows it and it might expand and change mm-hmm. in that way. And mm-hmm. so you say here, it's okay to stop doing something that is not bearing fruit. Mm-hmm. And this statement may seem counterproductive to reigniting, right? And reigniting our hope, our faith, <laughs> our dreams. You know, it might seem kind of productive, mm-hmm. but how, but can you share how this statement brings alive those things that we're desiring or hoping for? Well, you know, a lot of times we are doing things because it has become the easier thing to do. Mm. Wow. And the thing that we're most afraid of, the, the place where the grace of God is, and that's going to bring the fruit, that's the thing that we're not doing. Oh. So that's the thing that we need to we need to get some fire and some flame up under the thing that God has really called us to do. It's not that you won't do some of this stuff. Mm-hmm. It's that this is what you were called to do. Right. And a lot of times it can look like we'll stay in something, like you said, because we don't want to let anything go. Mm. But it's not bearing the fruit that is supposed to bear. I oh. think of it like when Jesus had cursed the fig tree. Right. When he saw that fig tree from afar off, it looked like it was supposed <laughs> to have some fruit. Right. Because the thing where he saw the leaves in the um and I remember reading about okay, well they said that it wasn't the season for figs, but okay, so why was he mad at the mm. tree? <laughs> yeah. Right. And so the reason is because uh, in that climate that figs are year round, but yeah. you get to see the leaves. If there are leaves, the leaves usually come sometime after the figs. The figs uh, come and then the leaves. So if you see leaves, that's supposed to be some figs. I see. Uh huh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Under there. Okay. So as he took a closer look, he saw. This thing ain't got no no fish. This tree is deceiving us. It it, is deceiving. (laughs) And I'm hungry. (laughs) Right. Yes. And so you may be working in something that is not producing any fruit. As a matter of fact, not Mm. only is it not producing anything for others, it's not producing anything in you. Ooh. Mm. Because the thing that God really has us doing is going to produce some stuff. Yes, yes. In us. It's going to produce fruit in us so that it's producing fruit in the thing that we're we're doing. That's good. And Mm. so we may be doing something that looks lavishly beautiful. Beautiful. (laughs) It look, it's got some shiny green uh, uh, fig leaves on it, mm. but there is nothing there. Yes. 
and Ooh. it's not and we're just doing it we're going through the motions of doing it we're we're standing there looking pretty and mm. when people come up to it ain't nothing there so that's Ooh. why we have to determine whether if what we're doing if it's bearing the right fruit okay or maybe it's bearing no fruit at all and we yeah. can and sometimes we can tell that is what fruit are we seeing in ourselves? Okay. Is That's it touching us? Is it drawing us closer to, to God? Yeah. Or, you know, is he is he abiding? Are we abiding in him? Does he abide in us? And yes. I just believe that we can, we need to reignite the, the dream that we have run away from. Yeah. <laughs> and not. I love it necessarily some of the things that we are already in but the thing that we have run away from and mm. not the thing that we have just said this is comfortable this mm. is my sacrifice oh that's good that's deep ladies when this airs if you got questions and you need some clarity get in those comments and ask those questions because these are these are gems and uh, and this is these are the hard conversations that we need to have the when we're when we're serious about pursuing the things that God has called us to you know every single woman that it's on this platform that's going to be speaking to you has had to be pruned mm -hmm. right because there's things that we're you know the holy we're doing in the holy spirit is like okay that's not bearing fruit and i need your energy to be fused this way right because right? how many of you know when you prune a tree it, the 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 you cut off the leaf or the 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 um branches over on the left the right grows out profusely <laughs> it, right. it, it, mm -hmm. it grows and big because why all of the energy and the effort and the resources that that dead branch was consuming from the root is now going into the leaves and the right. branches that are bearing that are strong and ready to bear fruit so pruning is not a bad thing it is mm -hmm. for the good and the sustaining of the things that God has called us to, sustaining of even our own lives. Mm -hmm. And that could be pruning things so that you can rest. Because how many, how many of us know that rest is a life sustainer, physical life? Mm -hmm. The physically resting your body helps you preserve and sustain your life. Mm -hmm. And so, Delonda, you are also an author. God is so good. God is so good. Delonda is also uh, not just a one book, y'all, a couple of books, several books. <laughs> and um, and then you have opportunities for rest that you just share with us. Mm -hmm. You have resources, you have um mm -hmm. coaching, you have all sorts of things, and you are what I call a one-stop shop, a rest one-stop shop mm -hmm. and um and i understand that you give rest scriptions <laughs> rest scriptions mm -hmm. <laughs> y'all get that prescriptions rest scriptions how can we get a custom rest scription from you oh um yeah so you can actually just go to girlrest.net and right at the top one of the tabs will say rest rx <laughs> Rest oh. RX. You can go there and all you have to do is fill out a form, name, email, and what your problem is. <laughs> <laughs> she said, what your problem is. <laughs> what your problem is. <laughs> and <laughs> I love it. And we will fill your restriction order in <laughs> two or three days. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and so you can you can go there, you'll get um and encouragement and a little mini rest plan for for your problem. Oh, look, I got my little rest prescription. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so Thanks. yeah, go there and fill it out. Isn't that awesome? Did you all you see how simple that is? Because Delanda is God has graced you with just the ability and the the understanding and the wisdom to really lead 
his women into rest. And I'm so excited about that. Lady, get your rest scriptions. Go to uh, girlrest.net. And like Delanda said, go to that tab, R, rest RX, and fill out the quick form. And you will get your custom rest scription. Now, we're getting ready to wrap up in a minute. But Delanda, tell us real quick. Real quick, don't give away any details now because we all want to be excited. And I know you're coming with the fire, coming with the fire, handling your flame through rest. Just give us one or two tidbits as to what we should be looking forward to in your talking workshop. Well, all I'm going to say is that <laughs> when I say that this is coming fresh off the press, <laughs> it is coming fresh off the press because. I think the Lord has been taking me through this, mm -hmm. uh, I think, for the past year, but really deeply in the last uh, six months. Yeah. And so I'm just I'm just writing down. I'm taking you through the things how the Lord is taking me. So okay. it's going it's just going to be a step by step. We're going to work some things out. Okay. So I know that this is going to yeah, bring your, your pen and paper. <laughs> <laughs> I love get, it. Get ready to start. We're going to start stretching some, some stuff. But, um, but yeah, I, I think that's all I want to say because I'm okay. really, truly I'm excited now. <laughs> pulling it together and it's, it's really going to be uh, a step by step because it's hard. And so we're going to answer some some hard questions mm -hmm. and uh to get to the the bottom of uh the bottom of things and so that you can go out with your own uh rest plan so that you can start reigniting yes uh after this conference love it. i love it can you tell the ladies why should they attend you're you are a three-year you know staple to the this conference and you bring it every single year just one thing why should they attend man uh clarity mm. i believe that um coming uh to the plan pray pursue reignite 2023 <laughs> is going to <laughs> is going to bring and I, and I believe just i mean the panel that you had Every year has been mm -hmm. phenomenal and I, it just gets better and better each year. And I yeah. think that, uh, and everybody brings something different. Yeah. And I think that this panel this year is going to bring another level of uh, clarity and uh, hands on yeah. processes that you need. And so it's just not, we're not just going to tell you just to go pray about it. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> We're not going to tell you just to, you know, uh, I don't know what the, the, the regular Christian cliches or whatever salutations <laughs> is not going to be. <laughs> right. It's, it's, it's going to be a, a walk you through mm. how you do this, because I think we're all learning as we go, that the people just don't know the how. Yeah. And oh, that's so good. We, we, just, we just don't know the how. And I think so many are yearning for someone to really just, like, could you please take me through this like, like I'm just coming to kindergarten? Yes, hold my hand. Yes. That's, Can you really yes. just hold my hand with this? Mm -hmm. and, and walk with me through this because I know what you're saying and you you're you're talking the big language and stuff, but I don't know nothing what you're talking about. I need you to break it down to yeah. me. Yeah. Right. So, so I believe that this is gonna be where that you'll get that, the breakdown mm -hmm. and the the uh the baby formula. <laughs> the baby formula right. and the big girl formula. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> and your first, so and your first you hamburger. Yes. Yeah, so that you can take something uh, that's concrete with you into the rest of the new year. I love that. That's so good, so good, ladies. 
Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and register. Register for the conference. You can go to plan, pray, pursue.org. Um, you can look at any of the number of posts within the group and you can find that. You can go to the description of the group and you can find where you can go ahead and click and register. We want to fill this Zoom. We have a space for 100 people, 100 women to attend. That's our hope. Um, and if each of you in the group register, go ahead and invite a friend to the group. Let them be encouraged because we're, we're already pouring out into you. Mm -hmm. You're going to, you are just getting a taste of what the conference is going to be and, and how much each of the speakers are preparing to pour into you. And so I look forward, Delanda, mm -hmm. to your talk. I got my notepad ready. <laughs> um, I've got my notepad ready. I'm ready to take notes. I'm ready to go over to the rescriptions mm -hmm. um, on your site, girlrest.net, and fill out that and get me a little custom uh, rest plan right. for just me. And, um, and I love what you're doing. I pray that God continues to bless the works of your hands mm -hmm. and that this mm -hmm. will just all come to fruition. Everything that he's put in your heart will come to fruition. Ladies, we will have another speaker shortly. I look forward to gathering with you. Get in the comments of these posts. Engage, meet someone, connect. This is our pre-conference group. And we will talk to you again soon. Have a good one.